Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to make remote desktop connections from Linux computers to Windows computers and also how you could do some file transfer and other management tasks. So we're going to be using a program called Aspia. So we did a video on this on how to uh, connect from Windows to Windows and even how to do a remote desktop connection to a Windows home computer, which normally you can't do with the built-in Windows remote desktop program. Okay, so we're going to be using this Windows 11 computer here for our destination to be controlled. And then we have this Ubuntu computer here, Linux, that we're going to use to connect to Windows. So on the Windows computer, you're going to need this host. You don't need these uh, client or console. This is from the other video. So you just need the host. And all you need to worry about is going to the settings, making sure the service is started. You don't need to worry about these other settings here. You can do uh, remote connections. It looks like if you put in router information and public key information, if you want to do it over the internet. But we're just going over the network for this video. So you just need to add a user. So this does not use the Windows account, so you don't have to worry about using your Windows account. You just create an account, you know, whatever name and password you want to use. It doesn't have to be related to your Windows account. And then you could check which of these session types you'll allow on the computer. So I have this guy here already set up to allow any of these types of sessions. Okay, so now we just need to go over to the Linux computer here, and you need to install the client, because the client connects to the host. So unfortunately, uh, as of right now, they don't have a way to go opposite to connect from uh, Windows to Linux, because there is no host app for Linux. The host software only runs on Windows, unfortunately. Okay, so anyways, so we have the client here installed. So we're going to connect to the IP address. You could try host name. For me, it gave me an unknown error. You might have different results, but IP address worked. So you put in the IP address of the Windows computer, and then pick what you want to do, manage, view, transfer, so on. So we're going to click Connect. So now we're putting in that name that we made over on the other side with the password. So this is not a Windows account. This is just that account for the host software. Click OK. And now you can see we're over on the uh, Windows computer here. And it shows that we're connected there. And you could stop, pause, cancel it, so on. And then you have a little toolbar here. You could pin it. If you want to you know, change some settings here, do some recording. And you could also run some of the other ones from here too. Full screen. Window size, send control, delete, power options, resolution, session configuration. So if you need to change some of these settings, like the codec that's used, or if you want to enable or disable audio or the clipboard. And then when you're done, you just click on the X, and that kills the session, and you're back here. So the desktop manage, you could control stuff in. Desktop view will just let you view their session but not control it. So if you know if you don't want to touch somebody's computer, you just want to watch what they're doing, you could use this. So file transfer. Show you this here, same name and password. Okay, so we have the source and destination computer. So let's say let's just go to the desktop on Linux. And here let's just pick a document. Let's say we want to copy this PDF file over, just drag and drop, and now you can see we have it there. And then you can go the other way as well. All right, so that's the file transfer. Let's check out the system information. OK, so you can see we have hardware information, software. Let's see what applications are on there. Check out the network information, operating system information, user account details, all kinds of good stuff there. You can save it, print it. Refresh it. OK, and finally, let's do the chat here. Okay, let's go to the other computer. So that's a nice way to just to start a little chat with the other computer there.
Okay, so you noticed that every time I wanted to do one of these session types, I had to put in the name and the password. So that's where the uh, console comes in handy. So you could add computers here. You could make a, a, it's called an address book. And within there, you could, mine's called clients. You could add computers and you could make subgroups and, you know, for let's say servers or whatever, test computers, that kind of thing, if you want to separate them out. So you just right click, add computer, uh, name of the computer, address, and then that username and password, the J Smith. So I already have this one configured here. So that way I have the IP address, the username and password. So now up here, I just need to pick what I want to do. So let's say system information, then just double click it and it connects right there. I don't have to put in the name and password, which makes it a lot quicker just to, you know, do each one of these. Then you have your stuff to delete, to modify, copy, add, make a group, properties, the address book, save, and that kind of thing. And then of course you could just add multiple computers. You could have the same name for all of them, different names and passwords for each one. So if you're okay with saving username and passwords in the software, then you could just have all your connections here and just access them instantly whenever you need to uh, connect. That's assuming the host software is running on the other computer and of course the other computer is on. So I will put a link in the description where you could download the uh, different components for this software. And then I'll also put a link in the description for the Windows version that we did so if you want to check that out as well. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.